Hey guys, what is going on? It is Frank Darty, and yes, uh, I'm going up with a new video for you guys today. Um, I figured this would be a good time to show you guys before I get ready to just switch out a pole station for a new system test, I guess. How exactly you are going to switch out a pole station, taking out all the proper precautions, and I figure it would just kind of help anyone out. Um, this isn't exactly going to be how to wire, it's mainly just going to be how to install. It's very easy, um, it doesn't take up too much time at all. So I figured I'd give you guys this little tutorial, but without further ado, let us get into it right now. Okay, so first what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make sure your power source is disconnected. Now, um, I do have this disconnected by the way, because... This is really loud, I'm not wearing ear protection, I don't really want to sound anything off right now. But, um, so yeah, um, so once all that's done, and if you have a panel, um, you're going to want to disconnect, uh, the zone that this is on. Um, but yeah, if this is on a zone by itself, then you're just going to want to disconnect it. Um, but yeah, so once you've done, you've done that, you're ready for the next step. Okay, so now what you're going to want to do is, I have the FCI MS2 up here, and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to lift it, you want to turn the key so that it opens. Um, now, um, I'm not going to be able to really get too much of a close view on it. I actually might be able to move this chair over a little bit so it's a lot easier for you guys to see. There we go, that should probably help a lot. Um, so yes, um, if you prefer it, what you can do is you can um, turn the key and just take it out. So that way you don't have to worry about the keys jingling or getting in the way. Um, so once that's all done, um, you wanna take a screwdriver, a drill, I'm using well, I just hit the wall. Um, I'm using a drill right now, so it, should make, it makes my life a lot easier because I hate screwdrivers when it comes to installing and uninstalling. Uh, just have to get it in here quick. It doesn't help that my hand is shaking. Uh, <laughs> all right, so now they're just going to um, just unscrew it. And yeah, I know this isn't really the screw I should be using. It's a wood screw. I should be using a metal screw, but the problem is I need to locate one currently. If I find one while in the process of actually doing it, I'll just put that up. But it can damage the back boxes. Uh, it'll strip the holes, which you don't want. So that's why you need to actually use the regular metal screws, not wood screws. Anyway. Uh, so, once I unscrew this, which I got it unscrewed, as you can see the pole station is now dangling, because it doesn't have a, really doesn't have a surface to mount off of. <coughs> so, first, well the next step you're going to want to do is, personally I think this is a good idea, um, most electricians will do this, fire alarm installers, whatever. When you're installing a new pole station, you'll need these, they're wire nuts. Basically what they do is you attach them to the wire and nothing, it doesn't send it a source or anything. It just basically blocks the, um, the wires from touching so nothing electrical happens, like a, they don't touch while you're trying to install. Or another reason you can use them for is if you have a pole station or an alarm with pigtail wires, which are just the bare wires, not like alligator clips, you would take the wire you're connecting it to to the other wire that goes to the main system and you just, you'd screw both of them in the same wire nut and then boom, there you go. And you'd also use them to screw up any extra wire you have, such as this BNG1R I have. See how it has four wires? Um, you would basically just use it to cover up the other wires so you wouldn't have the other two touch each other and cause a false alarm. But anyway, now that that's done, we're going to get actually get a screwdriver 
I would recommend using a screwdriver for this part. You don't have to, but I recommend it just in case you don't want to like unscrew, take the screw out of like the terminal. Now the problem is I don't know where I put my screwdriver, so I will be right back. Okay, so now I found my screwdriver. Um, so now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to start unscrewing the uh, wire from the terminal. Um, it's real simple. All you just need to do is make sure the terminal's open enough, and then uh, just going to screw it, and then the wire will come out like that. I actually need a different um, head for this other screw. I, I have a flat head on because when I go to reset my Edwards pull stations, they require a flat head. So, but that one could have been opened up with a flat head or Phillips. But there we go. So now we're going to open this. We're going to actually turn to the left. But, and then the wires come out. Um,. So yeah, now the pull station is off of the back box. Um, so I'm actually going to demonstrate real quick how to put the wire nuts on there. I'm not going to leave them on because I don't. They're not required right now because um, there's no power. But basically, what you do is there's a hole in here, and you're going to take these real quick. Hang on, I'll be right back. Sorry about that, guys. I um my phone was ringing, my house phone. So anyway, um. Take this wire nut and you're going to just screw it onto the wire like so. And then we're going to take this one and do the exact same. We're just going to screw it to the right. And then bam, you're good. You don't have to worry about any electrocutions. You don't have to worry about loose wires. You're good. Uh, so now here's the moment of truth. What pole station do I want to switch this out with? I'm thinking there's something. I haven't exactly used in a while. Um, hmm, hang on, guys. Actually, We're going to put up my 4251 dash, uh, not 4251, 2099-9750, no, 94. The 9756 is the dual action version, but this is the single action version. But anyway, we're going to take off the wire nuts in two seconds, actually. Now I actually need a flathead to do this because um, the terminals on here, the screws are flathead. They're really small ones actually as well. But um, so we're going to take these off. I don't know if you're supposed to take both of them off at the same time. I could be wrong, but I honestly don't care because I'm not going to get electrocuted. I'm just showing it for a purpose of um, how you would normally do it. But anyway, I just need to get this uh, screw on here enough. Uh, hang on, guys. All right, so once that has happened, I'm going to take my wire. And I'm going to put this in here. Uh, hang on. One moment, guys. It's gonna split the wire a little bit. It's not gonna do any damage. I'm just splitting it real quick because I just wanna make sure I have enough room. But anyway, you're just gonna take the wire, you're gonna put it in here. I actually need to try and fit it in here. Hang on. Uh, let me see, it probably wouldn't, doesn't help that I have the metal pieces themselves are like all um, bunched up, but it's wire. What are you gonna do? Um, anyway, I'm 
Okay, so now that that is in there, well, now it's not, but... All right, hang on. All right, so I have to actually hold this in here now so nothing is falling out. And I have to screw everything on. Yeah, this isn't exactly as easy as it looks. Hang on, guys. Uh, yeah, this, of course, is going to end up being a lengthy video because, you know, nothing works. You know what? We're not going to use the, the simplex tool. Whatever the hell it is. I, I don't care. Uh, now that something's gone wrong, like in all of my videos, um, you know what? Here we go. We're just going to replace it with a BG-12L. That sounds a lot more practical, believe it or not. Uh, where are my keys? Here they are. Sorry if this is a little bit of a lengthy video, guys. I just want to kind of make sure I'm getting through this a lot, and I want to make sure I'm helping people with these things. So now, as you can see, the terminals are a lot bigger on this. Um, so now I'm just going to put the wire in there, screw, or turn the screw until it is completely until the wire is rested in there. This I could actually use my drill. Alright, let me grab it. Let me grab the drill actually. Alright. So I'm just gonna take the drill and uh just gonna turn it all the way Okay, the wire came out, not a surprise, my luck sucks. <sighs> With my luck, I'm also going to end up having to make this video R-rated because of my frustration, but whatever. Just kidding, guys. Um, I'm totally calm. Uh, but, yeah. Okay, so now I think I got it. But, I'm going to screw this in here. There we go. Okay, now that's in there. Um, I'm just gonna get the other one real quick. One of the wire nuts fell, that's not a big deal. I don't need it currently, but I'll grab it in a second. All right, so now that the pull station is in, um, I'm gonna try to show you real quick. Um, yeah, there, it's in there. It's a little hard to see because I, I don't really want to move my camera because um, let me actually take my keys out. I just don't want to move my camera only because I don't want to have it because it's literally like sitting on multiple items right now and I just don't want it to like fall out of place and just everything to um, get messed up. But now we're going to take a screw. As you can see, I have a different screw. You might not be able to see, but it's not a wood screw. Alrighty, it's not gonna fit, I'm guessing. No, it's not that, it's just... Alrighty. Let me grab my drill. There we go, we're gonna... Oh, come on. Nothing works. You know, I, I, this is why I don't make videos, because I, it's like, I, I, whenever I try, to do something right, it just completely gets messed up. I don't know why I bother even to do YouTube, but whatever. Freaking suck at it, but whatever. You guys still like my videos, and I appreciate it. Now that's gonna work. Alright. Sorry about that, guys. I'm just a little frustrated. And we all go through these moments where, like, when we're off camera, we can just literally, like, do whatever we want. First try. But when we're on camera, it takes 10,000 tries for something to work. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty, I know I'm not the only one who goes through this struggle, but... There, okay.
Okay, so now that that screw is on there, I can find a way to fish this one into there. And there you go. Uh, that's really all there is to it. Um, I'm gonna close it. Can pull it. I'm not gonna set anything off right now because um, I don't want to wake up my dad who's sleeping because he has work tonight. But uh, anyway, <clears throat> uh, but yeah, that was how to install a fire alarm pull station. I hope you guys enjoy. If you want to see more stuff like this, make sure you leave it in the comments. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and yeah, thanks for watching, guys.